Hey guys, and welcome back to DD Empires with me, Tema Tactics. Remember I have three soul gems down here, and I'm about halfway done to the fourth one? Well, we don't have to worry about spending those when we bring back somebody from the dead. We'll just use meditation, so let's go ahead and do that. There's no need to be waiting here for the Hyman Swordsman to bring him back. It's when you make a unit a core unit. That's when you spend a soul gem. So we're not going to have to worry about that. So that's good. Let's bring him back right away, and we'll see. Well, it's going to be 139. We we're making 94, so it's going to be a while. Two turns, 54 is what we have right now, plus 94. Yeah, two turns. Okay, that's going to be very helpful, I think. And we are pretty close to getting that uh, next spell book, but I don't think it's going to give us anything that super exciting, right? Right now we have six spell books, right? So it's going to be seven, then the seventh spell book, and then what we're going to get out of that is level six, one less than the number of spell books. Let's see what we can get here in the Holy section. We can get Divine Barrier and Holy Light. Divine Barrier will create a protective Holy Shield so runs to caster. Well, wait a minute. If we do that in a battle, who is the caster if we do it? Hmm. That might be tempting, though. Because if, if we can do it on somebody, that would actually be very, very tempting. It says the caster, but okay. We'll see how that works in a battle. And then we have Holy Light as well. Bask the battlefield in Holy Light, giving good units plus three hit chance and plus one magic resist. And evil units gets the opposite. Well, that's not going to help us when we fight Everlong, right? Because they're good as well. So, But anybody else, that would be helpful. Counteracts the darkness spell. Okay, yep, good. So that's what we're doing there. So now we have figured out we're going to get that race dead, our swordsman. Great. What else do we do? Well, we are down here. We're about to go to the next turn, but... Hmm, we do have the Rumpton army over here, and I was thinking about taking this city, right? But if you look at the stats, they are pretty strong, and they're behind the wall, and they have garrison units. So probably we won't be doing that right away, right? What do I have? Zero moves. Next turn, we'll see what we can do. I mean, I can always attack, I guess, with the ones that have their core units, because they can... I can revive them for just a few mana points, but hmm. Well, we'll see. There's one more thing I want to do, and that's look at the cities real quick. Because I noticed we have a couple here with trade goods. So let's not do that, at least. So Garrick's over here. What are we doing here? Well, we have room for one more. One more building. We might... Oh, we do have a shipyard here. We could build a galleon, actually. But you know what? Why don't we go down and get... <clears throat> more research. This will give us 10% for 130 production. This will give us 10% magic for 380. I think I want to get this one here. Let's get that. And what else do we have? Exit that and go to the next one. That would be Keg up in the north. Keg is such a good city, right? Don't you think? Look at that blue orb. Oh, we're getting and all that food and resources over here. We do get 38 resources. I guess we could get more. <clears throat> so, do we have room for a city, for a, another building? Yeah, we do. We have room for anything we want. We shouldn't be doing trade goods here. There's no no doubt. Um, hmm, this is our magic city, right? What do we get up here? Convert mana to gold. Okay, we could do that. I don't know if we need that, though. Or convert gold to mana. Either way, I think we are fine. Large alchemist lab. Every fifth turn, one friendly unit... In or around the city will acquire the lesser arcane strike ability. Wait a minute. Okay. So we get it more often then. Yeah. These two will make it much quicker to get that. And if we go down here. Mana potion la laboratory. Produces one mana potion each five turns. Or a heal potion laboratory. That's actually very tempting, isn't it? Down here we have the uh, wizard's hall. We can recruit a hymen wizard. And that will give us magic research 5%. Hmm. 215 production cost. What is this one all about? I'm in wizard. Don't have one right now. Missile shield. 20 armor chance of 5 to armor roll versus ranged attacks. That's good. Good against the elves, right? With all their uh, armor or archery. They can do fireball. 5 to 11 magical fire damage to target. That is nice. That is very good. 9. 5 to 11, plus 10 per magic level. It's level 6 here. That is really good. Or sleep. 
puts the enemy into sleep. Sleeping units cannot act, and non-magical physical melee attacks that lands is always a critical hit. You know, any damage cost, that is really good as well. I want to get one of these. 30 in mana. We could give him more, you know, with a magic magic item, maybe. Hmm. They don't have very many hit points, but that's okay. And they also have this fireball attack. Not the same as a spell, but still does good damage. We should get one of these. Let's do that. That will give us another 5% in magic research as well. Let's go down there. And what is this one here? Wizard's Tower. The city's defense towers can now shoot fireballs at enemies. Yeah, that would be nice. Hmm. It will cost us 300 to do that. What is this one here? 500. Magic summoning circle. Oh, that, we don't need that. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Going down here. I think I'll go down here instead for now. They're a lot less expensive. And if we go down here, it's almost nothing. 80, right? And then worshiping gets higher. And if we go down here, we can do it pretty quick, is what I'm thinking, just to get all these. And then we'll go down here and get the money. We'll see. We'll see how that uh, plays out. Who else do we have? Or which other city? Cannot. Oh, cannot. That's our elven city. What do we have here, really? Are we, do we have... How are we doing population-wise? Descent plus eight. Okay, so that's bad. We can have a lot more buildings. Let's go ahead and get that taken care of right now. How do we get descent down? Well, here's not going to do it. But here we do get some descent. No, we don't get descent reduction. I thought we did. Nope. Okay. <clears throat> we have this one here. We have this here. We have to go down here, don't we? Ten. Yeah. Let's get that first, and we'll see. Well... I think go down and get some research done after that. Not that expensive, right? 130. Yeah, let's do that. And I think that takes care of all of the cities that are not doing anything, right? I don't count housing because I want to get the that up because buildings allowed 15 out of 14. So we need one more, two more there. And a couple more here. Housing, where else would we do housing? Nowhere. Okay. 37 out of 53. Yeah, we have just building here. 15 out of 26. It's looking pretty good. So we got to be a little bit careful now, making sure we don't lose it. Uh, we have a Thinity here. That's good. But do we even have any units in here? We don't. So if they sneak behind us, we got to be careful about that. We don't want them to sneak and take it, right? That would be bad. Now that look at that. Can they do that actually? No. A warrior and a ranger. Now, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. They probably can. One, two, three, four. Can I go back? Two moves. Ooh, I can go here, can't I? Do we have, is that a core unit? It is a core unit. You know I'm worried now. Look at this. He's right here. One, two, three, four. Who else do we have? Two moves. We can do. We'll take three of them. Let's go up there. Here I can't go. I can't go there, but I can go here. Let's go up there. Yeah. So let's not be all crazy here and attack too quickly. I think we're going to bring up... We'll go down here. We'll go up, I should say. We go up with Gear and his army here. And we'll take it a little bit easy. See if we can take this one. Then we can consolidate and build more units. We really should be building more units, shouldn't we? That's what the AI is doing, by the way. Before they expand from their cities... I think they tend to build up the full, the eight units they can have, so they can defend adequately. If you look at our cities here, we have units, but not everywhere. Nothing indoor. They can just walk in. Well, we have the garrison, right? So maybe indoor in those places, we'll go ahead and build some units. What are we doing indoor? Well, let's see when we get, when we're done with the building in the city, we'll, we'll change it over to a unit then instead. Let's do that. Okay. Mercenaries? Ah, perfect. Indoor. Let's take them right away. We're going to take them because we have a wall. It's going to be good to have somebody behind that wall with a, with a bow. Mercenaries in Tilodonios. Wood of Warrior. We'll take that as well. That's that city over there. Yep, good. And what else do we get? Unit raised from the dead. Oh, right now. Okay, we did. Oh, I see what happened here. We had 54. Remember that? We took all of those and then we took... Most of them from this turn as well. And then research complete. Food production one. 
Oh, wait a minute. We're not doing anything here that we want to do. Hmm. In civic research, are we? This is all uh, just random. I'm just picking anything. You know what? I think I want to get that mana uh, link four instead because that's going to give us 10% more mana, which is huge. We have two two of the um, two units here now because we got that race from the dead. Let's, ca let's cast a heal. I can't do a heal right now. Okay. Because I used up all my points. Okay, we'll do uh, increase research instead. And that's going to give us research. And the next turn, we're going to have points left over. No, we're not going to have points left over. Uh, no, I think we're going to have points left over, the way it works. Anyway, let's just move on. We have our swordsman here. He's level 7, so pretty good. XP quite a bit. They're not the best. I don't know why I put a core on him. Hmm. Should have done that probably, but okay. We can rest one turn there. This army should go down and stay put in that city. And here is our army with the gear. I'm going to go up to Tiladanius. Let's do that there. Did we get a... Um, what did we get here? Wood of War. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so we can uh, probably go ahead and... If I go out here... No, I can't do it this time. I can go out here. Let's do that. And then in Teladanias, we'll go ahead and hire him. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, that's going to work. Let's sleep for you. Now, they didn't do anything. There is an engineer over here, and there is the warrior and ranger here. Hmm. You know, I wonder what I can do about that. Can I go down? I can take out this warrior and ranger with gear, right? I think I can anyway. What if we go down with the three units here, attack here, and then we'll take an attack here with gear? Oh, I can't. Six moves cost too much. Really? Oh, there's a uh, there's a wall there, here. I have to use up all your movement points. Okay, we'll stay there and we'll go in with gear instead. We'll auto battle that. They got two skeletons and then the engineer died, yeah. Okay, that's good. We can't move him now, so that's fine. And we're going to stay here. Let's mm, let's just go to the next unit. Oh, that's it. That's all we can do. Okay. How far are we now from getting that Holy Spell book? Next turn, right? Increase research. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. We have nine right now. 47 in battle. Mana left. Next turn. Oh, he's moving that engineer or the settler up there. Okay, building construction complete in Garrick's library and in Ode School. Let's see if we get a unit here, and we can send them across the map, right? Mercenaries in Ode. Let's get that. We're making 1,600. I think it's going to be okay. It will cost about four, I think, or something like that. Not too bad. So, wait a minute. What do we say? In Garrick's, we got a library. What do I have in Garrison over here? Nothing. Oh, I have my supply wagon. Well, that's right. We do have extra supply here, or resources here, and m one mounted dwarf warrior. That's nothing to write home about, but the, it is a level... Isn't it level 2 wall here? Defense tower 1. Additional defense tower, so we have two of them there. But that's nothing to write home about, is it? Oh, you know what? I also want to get a crusader, don't we? Hmm. I think I want to get one of those. We can build a galleon as well. Oh, I'm tempted to do that here. Because up in Keg, remember we have that port area? The port area also acts as defense. If you put a galleon there, we'll be in good shape. I was Didn't I talk about doing that before? Uh, well, hmm. What if we take a galleon? It's 13 upkeep. We only have one unit defending, but there's nobody here now. But they, it's on the coast. They could be attacking at any point. I like to have bowmen. Because they have that good long range of 9. Let's put a bowman in there. We cannot have any more buildings, so that's fine. And what about in Ode? Ode is where? Here. Oh, that's that elf city. Okay. There's not any more buildings available there, so we could do nothing really there. Well, it's housing then, right? Yeah, 66 there. Let's do housing. Making 1,600 gold per turn. So we're up to 7,000 now. That's fine. We have a lot of mana. We could be thinking about getting another uh, another unit. I mean, another uh, magic item. 
1187 left. So now next turn we're going to get that. Uh, we're going to get the um, uh, the spellbook is what I'm trying to say. What I'm doing this. Uh, let's see here. What do we have in the wagon now? Supply wagon. What do we have? Oh, there it is. 439. That's a lot. What do we have indoor? Well, we can actually look at the cities themselves and see which city is in most in need. There. So, look at the production here. Door already has some. Keg. In the north. It would be nice to give it a keg, wouldn't it? Because that's a good city up there. 54 in production is big. Let's go up to keg. I should have gone... Well, that's a good way to go here, I think. Yeah, we'll go up with keg there. Okay, here's Gear's partial army. We took out... Yeah, we took out some of them. Oh, they're over here. Oh, they're going back to Athenathy. Okay. We have nothing in there. We got to be careful about that. Really careful. What are we doing in Athenathy? Nothing. A druid. I'm doing a druid there. Oh, we got to make sure we keep this. Let's keep that there. In that case, let's go... This is... No, not Gears. This is Rompton. Okay. Still pretty strong. What if we stay... We'll take... I can't get all the way back. I can't get all the way back. Okay, I was going to say I can't, but... The road here, and then, yeah, I can get through. So let's go up there to the city, and we'll take them as well. Just to play safe this turn. Gear? Well, Tiladonia's over here. We have one Wood Elf Warrior here. We're doing housing right now. I mean, I could go and do a unit, an archer, for instance. Do we have a tower? We don't, and I can't get a tower too much. I want to get housing up, right? So maybe leaving gear down here for now. So leaving gear here, and then uh, Rumpton over in Athenathy, and um, maybe that's a good idea, because remember, gear can train everybody up. If you look at gear, he is what? What kind of XP does he have? Not him. Here. 796. Anything less than 400, they're going to gain XP. Yeah, that's all of them. Yep, all of them. I said we go into the city, and we don't need this unit here. We'll send him up. This one, yeah, we'll send him up. He is... Are they going to put a city here? No, they can't. Can't put a sit here. Okay. What if we send him up to Kenont or Aaron? Two units here. Mountain Dwarf, Grenadier, and the Spearman. And over here, yeah, Balloon Bomber. Let's send him over there. And you go into the city, and you can go ahead and sleep. In Ode, oh, we got another unit. So Ode has... It's pretty good. Aaron has two. Brompton has a lot as well. Garrix is the one that is missing a few, right? Let's take... We don't want to take all of them, though, uh, obviously, but we could take... We'll take two of them up there. Indoor, but we're just going to let you rest. And then you can rest here as well. I want to see what Everlong does. I mean, if I sit here, I should be able to do better than he does, right? I have more cities now. Oh, somebody built another city up there. Oh, I didn't expect that. Uh, mercenaries uh, off of their services in Werv. We get a Spearman, and we're going to take it. Werv doesn't have anything. Absolutely, we'll hire that. And building complete in door. Magic College. Nope, a Crusader now, instead of going to trade goods. Let's do that. Breezer Complete, Holy Spellbook. Great, let's take a look at that, too. Door. I'm going to get a Crusader. The Crusader is a 79 upkeep, but 17 hit points. Does a lot of damage. If we can get some magic we magic armor and weapons on them, yeah, that'd be good. Let's do a Crusader. 375. We're making 76 per turn. We have an extra 275 here. Okay. And then research complete. But, you know, before we do that, let's look here. What happened? Oh, they put on a very tip there. Who is this now? Rexagir? Yes, Rexagir. <laughs> Um, we're not actually at war with the Rexagir. Oh, we can be. If we don't do anything right away, I, I think, it, the, here's the situation. 
most of the area here has been already populated, so they're looking for places to populate. And I guess they want to go for that here. We, I guess we can let him grow, and then we'll take it when we need to. I don't like it. I mean, I'm not a big, huge fan of that. Didi Rexagir. He's not at war with anybody. Allied with Everlong. Okay. He doesn't hate us, though. He is good as well. Cold. Yeah, I don't know. If we can take it from him, we can get some dwarf units, right? Can't we? I think we can. And that's not a very good city anyway. I guess I'm going to leave it there. Hmm. We'll leave it there for now. And here's our engineer. We built... You know what? I want to build some roads, I think. I want to connect the cities now. Because then we can get... Uh, we can trade... Uh, we can have send our resources across. Okay, let's go into the city and sit there. We'll sleep there. That makes me feel a lot better. You go up north and indoor. Well, I haven't used my... Yeah, that's right. I haven't used uh, my um, powers here yet. We're going to heal you. Great. Now, there are two units here. That is this level 7. He's a good unit. Not bad. 22% hit chance. That's not great, though. Morale minus 10. Is that because of him being at low hit points? Maybe. We'll leave him there for now, I think. Rest one turn. We'll take that morale later. Should we take that one out? We have a warrior. We can do it. Although he might go ahead and, and throw some uh, skeletons at us. You know, we could take this unit in Kenot, couldn't we? Mountain Dwarf Balloon Bomber. I can't do any uh, units. I mean, I can't uh, summon anything. But I could take him and attack in the forest. But if they do skeletons, they will do skeletons. I mean, where is he on his way to? Here, probably, right? Okay, we'll go up. We'll go up there. And then we'll see if we can join up with the Balloon Bomber, and that might be enough. Here we have a Rumpton. And you know what? Rumpton is also a Master Trainer. So what does that mean? 1,024. Anything less than 500 in experience, they're going to be uh, getting experience. So they are getting experience here. Everybody. Nope. Not the High Man Cavalry. No experience. I'm tempted to take him out from that group then. Who would I take... Who would I put in there instead? Well, in, in Thinity, we're building a druid. Ha! That works really well, doesn't it? We'll take him. Let's go up to Brompton instead. There. And our three units here. That's pretty good. Having three units, pretty solid. We don't have a wall. Uh, I don't think we can get one. 12 out of 12. Pretty soon, though. Pretty soon. We're gaining 169 per month. So we'll uh, rest one turn. In Worv, we have our unit. We're going to go ahead and put you to sleep. One unit is nothing, but there's a tower as well. But if somebody lands here, we're not going to have nothing to do. I mean, we can't do anything. We're doing the dock of the dry dock. So I was thinking we're going to get that galleon here, right? But is that really how we want to spend our few measly resources over here? We want to get another engineer. Because the engineer is limited by money, right? And we're making enough money to be able to pump that out. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's get an engineer. Oh, wait. We'll get the dock. At least it's just one turn away. Okay. You go to sleep there. And then the Yep, yeah, we'll wait with you guys. And that's it. What are they doing? They're moving north. Oh, there's an army there now. Ooh, of Evalongs. We have the Lesser Arcane Strike. Great. From the Alchemist Lab. This unit here. <clears throat> Not that, but in here, I guess. Yeah. So we can actually take them. Well, we may want to keep them there. There's three units, and that's a good city. Yeah, let's leave them there. Building construction complete in Brompton Library, then Magic Library, Dock, Dry Dock. No, we're, we're going to change it. We're going to go to a an engineer. Then we'll switch back. Cannot we have a Magic Library, and then we stopped. We're done. We're not really done, are we? 28. What do we do in Kenon uh, for our descent? Zero. Okay, much better. But we need actually something there again. This one here is how much? 250 to produce. Down here, 80. We'll do this one. Let's get that one real quick. 
And we can have a lot of uh, buildings here. So let's just get that organized. Gain a worker and uh, volunteers enlisted. And then um, Brompton Library. Now we're doing Magic Library. Okay. And that means we're probably in pretty good shape here still, right? What do we say? 64 Magic Research and 73 in Civic. And we're going for the Monolink. Yeah, we are. That's good. So up here, I'm going to rest with them. No, I'm going to let them sleep, I guess. But we'll go here and drop it off there. And now when we build in Keg, Wizard Hall, we can get that wizard a lot quicker because now we have 477 in resources. That's going to last a while because production here is 54. You know what? I really want to get more production, don't I? I'm doing Wizard Hall, Library, Small. Nothing that produces any kind of production like... Well, I guess I got this one already. Hmm. We got this one as well. I think these tend to be, give us production. Yeah. 80. You know what? If I hold down control, left click, we'll put that on number one. Oh, Wizard Hall is almost done, though. What am I thinking? Well, we'll go back in. Let's go back in and say, Wizard Hall, you can still continue. But then number two will be that one. Okay. And if we're done with this one, let's go back down to Garrick's, I think, right? Hopefully we won't lose it. All right, here we have an engineer in Brompton, and that is good because we do have... Yeah, we should put a road here, shouldn't we? We're making 63. That's almost nothing. Let's put a road here. 1768, uh, okay. Where's my prospector? He's down here working away. Yeah, he is. Door, we have two units. You go to sleep, and uh, where did it go? Oh, down here. There's an army here. That's what I saw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and our spell book. Mmm, that army. Well, wait a minute. We have gear down here. Where are they going? Aaron? 801. Kinnant? Ooh, I don't like it. Not a big fan. They could also be leaving. One, two, three, four. No, they can't get through. I could take gear and try to take them out. Ostera, oh, they came from down here. Yeah, they did. Ostera Fallen here is our hero, their hero. And Sorcerer is there. Hmm, Wood Elf Skirmisher. Do we want to take them out or try to take them out? Well, what else do I have? Nothing here. And I can't, well, I can build if I wanted to. What does it have, this city? It has one defense tower. No wall. There's one garrison unit. It's extremely weak, but if I don't do anything, one, two, three, four, then it's going to be very hard to defend here, right? I have to keep up. So if I go up, select all of them. If I go up here, I can't get there. Ooh, that's going to be tough to get through. He can take Kenont anyway. I'm going to have to go down here, I think. We'll go down here. And then in Aaron, I have to bring some units down, I think, now. There is an army here. The Warrior and the Ranger. Were they that before? I think they were. Oh, I don't like that. They can take out my... Um... No, they can't. They have to move through here. And that that's a thats a wall. Okay. They can't take it out yet. Here we have two, three units. And then in Athenathy, that's gear. I mean, that's uh, Rompton. Oh, yeah. You know what? We probably should move them down here. I know, leaving it empty again. But there's nobody here that I can see. One, two, three, four. They can't actually get into the city. Let's go down. I'm taking a chance here. Yeah, we need to produce units. It's pretty obvious. We'll go down there. Okay, we got the road to there. Good. I want to kind of connect all the cities here. So if we go down and connect here, build a road. And there is my engineer who built a mine for that uh, mana deposit. Okay. So now we get, well, six resources there. And ten mana per worker. We don't have any workers right now. We're doing trade goods. Oh, trade goods again. Uh, 81. Yeah, we probably want to get, we'll switch that around. How much do we have? Six out of ten. We're making 12 out of 34. Okay. So we, let's do the easy stuff that's quick to get out there. We can get more production. <clears throat> don't think I need that, though. But we're going to get resources from here, right? In the mountains. There's some gold as well. That takes a mine, and that's money. 
So money is good here. What do we get from here? Tavern. Gold five. This gold, and you can see part of the, the map occasionally. We've done the easy stuff here. This one here is 50, and you get 20 trade goods. Might be good to get that, actually. Let's get that. And then he's done there. We have already connected those two. Why is it so low in getting uh, population here? 81 only. Oh, because the city itself is in a bad spot. Yeah. We'll put a mine here, though. Prospector didn't find anything. Hmm. Did not find anything. We can go over here. If I do it again, it's not going to take five turns to do it. And next, after that, if I don't find anything, then we're not going to have... Uh, oh, it's 20% chance it's gone down. Because it was 40, right? I thought it was going to stay up to 40 until you get to five times, but okay. Never mind. We'll go up here with gear. You can sleep. And then... Um, Okay, we have the full army here now. Now that is actually pretty good. I think I'm going to take them as well. Let's see if we can take eradicate him. We'll go into the mountains um, here. In Ode, you can sleep. Are they going to attack Ode? There's no wall. It's very possible they will. And we have no wall here. Ooh, what do we have? Three out of four. Okay, we have three out of four. And a tower. And then we have our garrison, three units. Okay, so if he attacks that, no, he's not going to make it. That army is not going to make it. It's this army down here that's going to be a problem, if anything. He's moving back down. Oh, okay, right next to gear. All right, we gained a Hyben Bowman in Garrix. Okay, Garrix can have nope, no more cities, no more... Uh, buildings there. So now we, our garrison is four units. Okay, pretty good. Let's go ahead and get that. Was it Galleon we had here? Yeah, let's get one of those. We got a Builder's Workshop in Pitcald. That's on the west coast there. Builder's Workshop, and that means we're making 16 in natural resources and 21 in production. But we are, this is not great here, right? Yeah, we have to do something about this. We have to send up an engineer here. But what do we build in the meantime? I think I might just go for more of magic research and civic research. Having a city, 5% is really huge. We're going for Mason's Guild. Oh, wait a minute. Production 10. You know what? I'll put this one as number one. I was going to go for the city wall. I was going to go for that. Okay. Um, we'll take that often and then number three instead. Okay, that's fine. Cannot get a worker. Okay. So you can uh, sleep here as well. Our supply wagon go back down. And we built a road here. So Brompton now. Yeah, more units there. That's good. We probably should be taking advantage of all this here. Like this yellow orb is three. That's not bad. I mean, over time we're going to gain. It's going to be really good. Let's go down here and build a mine. And now we can decide what to do. We could attack him here. Couldn't we? Yeah, we can definitely do that. Who else do we have? This army. And then the road here. I'm going to build up the road to... Well, door, maybe, but it costs more, I think, to do that. Let's go down here and build a road. And a mine here. And we have enough money for that, so that's fine. Here's our prospector. He has 40% chance. So you get 40% chance right away, but then it went down to 20 after turn four or fourth attempt. Well, let's see what happens there. We'll prospect there. And uh, you can rest as well. And now we should probably attack here and also attack here with... That's Rompton, yeah. You know what? Let's attack with Rompton first and go up here. That's an elf war and a ranger. Remember, we're going to get the... We're going to see skeletons as well, but he should not have... Oh, we couldn't attack. Oh, he's on a... He is actually sitting on a um, on a city wall that he owns. So, can they attack here? Hopefully not. I didn't expect that. Go down there. And then we can attack here. Then Let's do that. Three skirmishers, one hero, and then one sorceress. And I forgot what she does again. Sleep and lightning. 
Hmm. That is 12 mana. And she has 32. She can do 2. But are they on a, on a wall? They're not on a wall. So that's good. Okay, we'll attack them then. They're in forest, but not just forest. So we'll take... We'll see what we can do. Okay, we took some damage. Our paladin over here. Still good. There, there's him. He's right over here. You know what? We can probably take him out, can't we? With some uh, pl well-placed attacks. If we do... Well, now the range here. Holy Comet. He can do greater heal. We can't do that. But we can do a Holy Burst. If we wanted to. 4 to 9. He has what? 118. No, let's not do that. That's kind of a waste. Should we go up here and wait? <clears throat> hmm. I only see hills here with um, trees. And that's not helpful for us, is it? We should meet them in open terrain, really. So if I go up here, it's going to take me a long time to do that. But we'll go up and meet them. Oh, I also have that earth elemental, right? So we do have that. Hmm, hey, we can move the paladin up, I think. Let's do that. Move him up there. And the dwarf, you go up there. Put our warrior up there. And gear. He is good. He's very good. We'll move him up as much as we can. Before we have to uh, have that elemental come. Oh yeah, they have that aura, right? So holy aura gives us what? For two rounds, plus three against uh, evil units. Ah, oh, that doesn't do too much. Prayer, no. I think it's the actually the priest that has a, a bless he can do. You know what? <clears throat> I think I don't want to do this one. Bless on gear. But I can't reach now. He already moved too. No, uh, yeah, he did move. Okay. Eight damage there, okay. So damage here as well, okay. Can I do um, a bless now? I can't, I can't reach, can I? I can reach. No, okay, it's, that's a good range. Okay, good. Here is our alteration wizard. Should we do a magic missile instead, or a web, something like that? That way, um, instead of having that slow earth elemental come up, I think I might want to do that. Magic missile... 10 damage. Okay, not too bad. We'll fire as well. 6 damage. I can't reach him just yet. We'll stay here, I think. And this is our uh, musketeer. Move him up. We have a bliss now. That's great. And we'll move up. I think I'll move up here and let him maybe all the way at... No, can't do that. Dwarven axe. We'll move up. Might be a little bit risky there, but let's do it. Can do a comet. Yeah, you know, let's just move up. Huh. Yeah, web. The web. Can he break free? <clears throat> Maybe. No damage. Yeah, he did break free. Okay, good news there. So he can do greater heal and prayer. Prayer not as useful. Well, magic resist, right? The the web is magic, so he would resist that. Maybe a little bit. Can he get up there? He can get up there. What do they have? True sight. Oh, okay, the blind. Okay, yeah, that's fine. We'll go up here, I think, and we'll attack there. Because right now his chances are 34, 4 to 9 in damage, which is big. And if he gets a critical as well, that'd be helpful. Well, 19 is not bad. That's really good. And what does he have here? Tangled and sleep. Oh, he's sleeping, okay. A little bit of damage. No, zero. Okay. Hmm. Um, moves four. Yeah, I guess we'll go out there. It's going to be slow going here through the... Through the hills and the forests, right? There, we did some damage. That's good. Oh, we should do another sleepers. Oh, uh, missile. Magic missile again. Okay. So he can... Oh, he can still attack one more time. He has three attacks. Okay. 12 damage. I 
think he has three anyway, right? Yeah, attack him, that's fine, because he can take it. And after the battle, we'll just cast, the, I mean, our heal, I think, so it'll be good. If he breaks free, hopefully. Oh, there's that sorceress, okay. He did break free, so let's go ahead and uh, work on that, good. 11, 17 damage. Still asleep here, and our warrior can't do anything, or the captain. We can fire here, though. That's a hero, so that's a good thing to get, take it to, to, to get, uh, to defeat. Holy water, 30. Let's get close to do that. Okay, there we go. Now we can do a Holy Comet. We'll do more of that as soon as we can. Magic Missile. Well, we have a spell. If I do that here. Yeah, eight. It's not bad. There we go. Nineteen. Dead. Done. Hero versus hero. I think we killed him before, though, didn't we? I think we did. What kind of damage is that? That's physical below, but the other one, alteration? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, took some damage here on our priest. But I think now it's going to be more straightforward. Yeah, I think so. Uh, heal or bless. We'll do a heal. But you know what? <clears throat> Let me continue with that because I think I can beat them now. And if something happens, 32. Yeah, if something happens, then I'll come back here. Okay, we have one unit left. We took out the sorceress. Let's go ahead and fire here. We might take a turn or two, but not too much longer, I think. Mm, okay, and uh, move up here. Yeah, they're moving, so that's not very good. Okay, well, you can move up as well. All right, and who do we have left? Nobody? Okay. He keeps firing. Okay, yeah, but we have ranged units as well. There we go. Ah, no damage. Gotta get closer. And there's only a little bit left here now. It just takes a long way here. Four to get one. He only has seven, so he can only one go one hex at a time. Yes, okay. Come on, let's take him out. There, now. Okay, we took him out. So, gold 121, 15 XP, and seven fame. Kill the core unit. Okay, so he's done. All right, we're going to have them probably just rest here. I'm going to do probably uh, cast a spell. We'll do the lesser heal. Okay, we'll do another lesser heal. Did I do a greater heal? Maybe I did. Um, we'll take gear. Another lesser heal for gear. And then one for the captain. Okay, good. Now, we did say we did get a... Um, did already pass that last turn, but anyway, we got that uh, spell. Let's see here now. So, if we go back to the deities here. Uh, six spell books. Oh, wait a minute. We now have to do research. Greater heal and prayer. Oh, we have to do a... Uh, Conjure Holy Spellbook. Yeah, let's do that. Mm -hmm. So we can actually get it. It's a multi-step process here. No moves for them. And that's it. And I think that will do it for this time, guys. I'll come back next time. We'll continue with DD Empires.